Lesson 2.3 is about the midpoint theorem and the angle bisector theorem. Okay, first we have the midpoint theorem. And this is a little different than the midpoint definition. Remember, the midpoint definition said that if you have a segment, say AB, and M is the midpoint, that the two pieces formed, AM and MB, are congruent to each other. Well, the theorem looks at it in terms of the whole AB and says, hey, guess what? If M is the midpoint, then AM is half of the total segment. It's half of AB. And MB is also half of, oops, uh, is also half of AB. Okay. And a lot of times we'll write our if-then statements. Uh, this will be like the if right here. If M is the midpoint. And then the arrow will, will mean then. Uh, then AM is half the total, and MB is half the total. So just keep straight that um, these are, this is a slightly different emphasis than the midpoint definition. The midpoint definition said part equals part, and the theorem says part equals half of whole. Okay, and as sort of a parallel to the midpoint theorem, we have the angle bisector theorem. Um, remember, the definition of an angle bisector is a ray that divides the angle into two congruent parts. Again, the focus of the definition is part equals part, smaller angle equals smaller angle. Whereas the theorem, the emphasis is that the, each smaller angle is half the measure of the uh, original, the big angle. So uh, in this case, if uh, ray BX is um, an angle bisector, that ray, of angle ABC, then uh, A, angle ABX is half the measure of the big angle, ABX, and measure um, of angle XBC is also half the measure of uh, the big angle, ABX. So this theorem, the angle bisector theorem, like the midpoint theorem, will come in to be handy, will be very useful when we're, uh, when we're proving geometric statements. So uh, that's it.